Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be- fuck me. <sighs> Sorry, give me like two seconds, I have to- Oh, the fact that that's still going, I don't like. I don't know, cause it's still plugged in, Never mind. Sorry, sometimes... I don't even care that I spelled that wrong. Yeah. Everybody can hear things, right? My audio is being- <laughs> Sorry. Everybody can hear things, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay! Let's go! Let's continue our adventure! Also, as you can see, uh, I- I upgraded Phoebus's little sprite there at the bottom. So now he moves! Alright, let's head back to Tucson. We gotta head for three to next. And now I have Paula. Or Phoebus in this case. I think the bridge is fixed by this point. So we'll be able, just be able to... Oh no! Oh god! That was a lot of enemies. And they're gone. I love that despawn trick. 
glad I learned about it. There isn't even a way down this way. Fuck, okay. Spinning robo. This is at a really low level right now. Oh no. Oh yeah, Phoebus was at fucking level one. should be fighting shit, though, just to get Phoebus' level up. There we go. I might change Phoebus' little animation down there again, uh, if only because, um, the, the animations for the other two party members are bouncy. And a lot less of a drastic pose change like Phoebus has. Fuck me, running. Smash, baby! Oh no! Oh shit, my teddy bear. Well, there goes our damage fodder. Which is really bad for Phoebus. <laughs> Until he gets a little more... A little more powerful. Butterfly. Butterfly. Oh god, that's a moving tree. And more enemies. This won't be a very long stream, at least not in comparison to my last two Earthbound streams. This will only be about an hour. Because I do still have work. The other bridge is fixed! Yay! Do Blue, blue. Whoops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Thank you for the help, good sir. Phoebus and I very much appreciate it. This is like half my level. That's fine. We need to get rid of that mushroom. Okay, good. needs to go first because that's gonna fuck my controls.
butterfly. Which I probably don't even need because I'm gonna go like sleep at the fucking hotel as soon as I can. Which reminds me I'm gonna need to have like a hundred bucks on me for it. Oh jeez, that's a lot of fucking enemies down there. I'm just gonna run around and fight people and things, cause just to get Phoebus' level up a little bit. Hey, I snuck up on the cop. show your parents that you're okay, Phoebus. That sounds like a good idea. What, your mom's out here? Yahoo! I knew it! You saved Phoebus! I don't really understand it, but I know that Phoebus' is miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Phoebus, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. Phoebus got the hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry that he suspected Mr. Everett for dread of Berglund Park. Oh, Mr. Everdeard is a good guy. Oh, Phoebus! Debbie, thank you so much. You must be the girl who will save the world like in Phoebus' dream. Phoebus, I'm sure you'll be a bit you'd be a big help to Debbie. It's not every day a father lets his his son embark on a journey to save the world. Tad, don't worry about me. Debbie and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three to the next town, we'll find another friend. We'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Phoebus. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Overbearing father. So proud of his son. Wait, we'll meet another friend? Oh, right, that prophecy Buzz Buzz said. Hello? Debbie? Everdeer is looking for you. He's got something for you. Oh, that's right, I promised Everdeer I'd come back with you. I better have been a bird, I just heard squawk. I didn't get to ba battle this lady last time. You met the cranky lady. I mean a Karen. Way to go, cranky lady. Er, sorry, no way to go, cranky lady. God, way to go, Phoebus. PK Thunder, baby! I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me get this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you'd like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on making- I'm looking for the evil money money statue to that liar exaggerate unearthed in Onet. What?! I'll see you at another time in another space. Wait, hold on! If Phoebus got the water bills. I'm sorry, Liger dug up a what now? A handmade band-aid. Kills your wounded body. Gone after one use. Bundle brand new- Oh, I know where to take this. This is actually our way to get to need. I know it's threed, but like, <laughs> let me, let me pronounce it as feed, as threed, threed. How did I say it before? Hey, anyway, uh, let's go take a quick nap. And then we'll get this, uh, water bills to the, um... To the dude.
Tschüss. Yeah, I am on money. Now let's call up Dad first. Debbie, it's your dad. $226. I wish we could have kept the $10,000. Just a record. Speaking of mom, we're gonna give mom a quick call. I heard you got a new boyfriend on your journey. Mom! She's back here! What did your mom say? Nothing! Well, why don't you tell me about him later? You see, I have this feeling that he's right next to you or something. Mom! Well, if he is right there, say hello to, hello to him for me. I have to go now. I'm right in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Bye! Click beep beep. My mom says hi! And that's all she said! Uh-huh. I'm gonna need a hundred dollars. Because now they're gonna start charging by the person. Welcome to Hood. Yep. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's two sun trip turbine headline. Ghosts continue to inhabit Tunnel to Threed. Hell, it sounds like we're not going to be able to get to Threed by walking. I think I have an idea on what to do with this water cash, though. Oh. Let's go to the Chaos Theater. Actually, real quick detour uh, through the department store. I'm gonna grab out another teddy bear. Another teddy bear would probably be a good idea. I'm still not as strong as you. It's also just good to have damage fodder, as, as horrible as that sounds to the poor teddy bear. Not from you. I can actually get the slingshot for Phoebus. Yeah, oh, that's actually pretty good. 23, that's actually good. Thank you very much. Nope, nothing else, because I think I got all the other everything else from the store that I needed. damage fodder. Ah, ran right into the car. It's fine, you don't take any damage from any cars. You're with a boy today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing him to my bandmate? He's right there. Oh, right, you just talked to this guy anyway. Hey, you came back with Phoebus! Then you deserve a present, it's a playgirl. What? Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Phoebus got the backstage pass, because my thing is full. I would like to order right this, yeah. Oh. Actually, first let me just... Can you... I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. Uh, good. Phoebus. Here you go. Hurry, you're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Did 
May I sit close to the stage? Sometimes I can get this. Okay. Ma'am. How do I get this started? I'm changing my clothes, Nano. Don't come in. Do I just hang around until the show starts? Runaway Way 5 are going to be world famous band someday. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's, one, he's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Well, well. I got a little kid here. You're talking to me like he's an adult. I give you one thing. You got guts, kid. Do I just wait for the show to start? Young fan link, you really he gets into the runaway five mutes music. Wow, I'm impressed. Lucky of the runaway five told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. I suppose it's your sister. Yes, this rocks, let's go. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Bye. Uh, let me... Oh, I don't have it. Phoebus has the water catch. Don't try to use your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh, that's not real money, is it? Wow! I want to give it to you. Oh yeah, in the old days there were a lot of dancers and access to theater stuff. Now there's only, we're the only act playing here. We even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The towns of Tucson. Son will enjoy this runaway... Way five show for quite a few years. Looks like to me. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway Five songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what's hot. <laughs> that's what we ain't got. So freedom, freedom, freedom. Pay attention. I want some bread. I need the coinage. Sir, I have the- okay, I think I just need to step outside and start the show. Where did everybody go? Yeah, that's right, tonight you got the Chaos Theater Soul Man coming at ya. Rockin' and rollin' live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest blues men, the Runaway Five, and here they come, oh yeah, baby! Where is everybody? Why is the room suddenly, like, empty? Yeah, you came in right as we started our run the Runaway 5 show. Don't be shy. Like that she's still here. <laughs> Mr. Poochifold, uh, the manager, is looking for you. I wonder what he wants. I'm gonna go pay off these guys' debt. Because I have a lot of money. Pardon me. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. 
They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> Actually, good sir. Beavis, can you hand me the water bills? Oh, certainly. Excuse me? What's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. Oh, right, I have to... <laughs> I have to go all the way up to him. Here. Yipes, you surprised me! Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the runaway five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I've got my money. Well, what do you know? Little Nipper took us from, from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! That means we can get out of this dump. It's still my hometown, guys. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? Let's go! Picture time! Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera! Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles! Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It'll always bring back the fondest of memories! Phoebus being like, who is that man? I don't know! But he got to take our picture, which is neat. Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Do you want to ride? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. To three. To three. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. To three. Wait, learn, I can't wait to learn, like, PK teleport. Oh shit, there was a present back there! Oh, too late to get it now. I just like that the ghosts try to follow the, the van for a little bit, and then they're like, ah, fuck it. Oh, absolutely. Wait, hold on. Why is that? Oh. There we go. That's probably why your bubbles weren't popping up. Yeah, Debbie is, Debbie is gonna have one heck of a story. <laughs> to tell when she gets home. Looks like we have to say our goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. But I'm sure you guys can, you can light up, up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing then at some theater at Foreside. Yeah, this place is kind of spooky. I saw a beat up tour bus going to Foresight. We can't go through the tunnel. The band was really noisy, so the ghosts didn't approach the bus. It must be great to be ha so happy go lucky, huh? Oh, so the, the ghosts in the tunnel isn't just a, a to Tucson thing. Why did you just look through a garbage can? It gave us an item, didn't it? I guess. Are you going to question my methods, or are we just going to have some fun here? You confront trick-or-treat kid and cohort.
This is now level nine. <laughs> I own this fucking town now. You're awfully kind taking time uh, time to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. Oh. I love you too, mouse. I'd like to know where the uh, okay, there's the big top. There's the hotel. It's still like a hundred dollars. I think I've still got some cash on me though, so no, I don't. Just in case. Welcome to the Three Sunset Hotel. Hey, I remembered how much. <laughs> ah, that's a That's amazing. I totally like. Remembered how much it was for Thweed. Sir, are you going out? The guest's newspaper was delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. What? Huh. I'm scared, but let me tell you what it is, what is in it. Destroy the humans, hold the town for our glory, and for the glory of our master. So that's why the town's so gloomy. It seems so. She sent a butterfly. I just slept. <laughs> Good question. I can't answer that for you. <laughs> I just got here. I... Oh. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Well, there was the teddy bear. Bye bye, teddy bear. Oh, no, it didn't. No, the teddy bear's still here. Yay. Now the teddy bear is gone. Oh, wow, the smelly ghost is tough. I'm just not realizing just how much damage I'm doing to it. Oh, Fuck you, side bat. PK bat, motherfucker. Are you kidding me? I decided that my journal is going to hold important dates for me to be remembering so that I have the opportunity to write them down and then have to write them down over and over. That's why it's like lowering the, my offense. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, shit. Oh, there was Phoebus. Well, I gotta run to the hospital. F. If he just didn't even get all that ESP, which sucks. <laughs> no. I should have made little ghost animations for when people die. Well, that's for next time, I guess. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll give me something to work on during breaks and shit. <laughs> I've also decided to add doodles to my, uh, pages for whatever space I don't feel like filling up or if I just feel like doodling instead of actually writing words. Nice. I need the hotel real quick because I need to go to the 18th or sir out of my way. I need to go I need to get my friend to a hospital. I super don't remember how much it costs to bring your friends back to life. Well, you're about to learn. I'll just grab out 400 just in case. Also, uh, in the Dragon Age playthrough for probably most of you who didn't join, uh, I started playing some DLC that I never played before, so that's interesting. Oh, nice! Yeah, I've been flirting with the person while also bringing Fenris along for the ride. <laughs> 120. Okay, that's not bad. Gotta be careful of those stinky ghosts in the graveyard. Those, those motherfuckers are mean. Get what's in the drugstore? I'm just gonna withdraw the rest of my money. I mean, you're probably right. <laughs> Ooh, minor leak bat. Let's go. Woo. Hold on, I'm gonna call up Escargo. I have to I have to fill up paperwork. Some of which the lady at the desk gave me today so that I could fill out before the appointment, in which I would end up filling out more paperwork. So that'll be fun. Perhaps. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, instead of that, I'm going to give that to Phoebus. I also apparently still have a baseball cap, which I'm going to sell right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to buy, because I want to buy this minor league bat. I will carry it. I will equip it. Whoa, 49 to 60! Hot damn! Thick frying, frying pan for Phoebus. I already have uh, legal drugs. Um, I'm actually wanting to get my uh, blood tested by recommendation of my psych, who uh, wanted to see if I had like a deficiency in something which might be affecting my sleep. Unfortunately, that means I need a primary care doctor in order for them to say, hey, check this person's blood out. Uh, I have two dates for, like, the different 20 seconds that are coming up. That's weird. Like, it's not weird, but also, like, huh. Also, I have to do something in the uh, DLC that I don't normally do in my games, which is sneak. <laughs> I have to pretend to be a rogue for a bit as a mage, Rip. and I cannot do anything otherwise. <laughs> Come on. 
help with my paperwork? Is that what you're offering? I think that's what you're offering. Until I am corrected, that's what I shall believe. You're supposed to do something here. I'll consider it. I think I might be able to get most of this done since it's like family stuff and all that, but if I ever get too confused, I might hate you. boy who is very much in love with Debbie. Uh, if I get like, phone, like I in canon, him. he is very much in love with Debbie. Um, in this, like, it's definite, like, everything's sort of starting. I know I'm supposed to do something in the graveyard, I just don't remember what and where I need to go. Fuck this. Yeah, he is like the within the gate within the game itself, like they're very much in the early stages of like crushing on each other. Um in canon, um I have to kind of figure out because Debbie, Debbie's actual canon like goes through a couple of diff has gone through uh, several different changes <laughs> um, over the course of the last like few years, and I think I'm finally on a a canon for her that I like. I just have to kind of figure out how to fit Phoebus into things. Was this the- yeah, I guess it's the same one as before. In- in their original canon, um... Where where Debbie was a where Debbie's like original universe was like a a crossover of like Sonic and Legend of Zelda because I'm a fucking nerd. Um, you are. Phoebus had there. There's kind of a whole lot of layers to this story, but at one point, um. Debbie brings Hyrule back, essentially. Kind of... Because, like, what happened to it was, like, a la Wind Waker, where it sank. And they bring it back above the surface. And they... Oh, no! Curse buffer! Curse you buffer. Um... <laughs> 
it's extremely blurry. Oh no. You can rival the blurry my own streams. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's cleared up a bit. I just want to go check my drop frames. Okay, we're just gonna have to. That's her a lot. But, um. I, I can absolutely go off about this. Um. Do it. Do it, Howard. <laughs> essentially, but yeah, um. Essentially, um. Through some adventures and shenanigans in like this this sealed off Hyrule that still has like people in it. They've just kind of been living this way down here. Um Okay, yeah, this is exactly where I need to be. Um, Debbie manages to raise Hyrule back above the waters. Uh they take some time her she gets like Sonic and the others to help out when it comes to he stares into your soul. He looks you over. How do I... How do I do this? Give me a second. I've forgotten what to do. Earthbound walkthrough. Read. Um... What would you consider as being recently traveled outside the USA? Like, what span of years? Within the last year or two. Okay, then no, I have not actual answer as such. Okay, I see what I need to do. Um. But anyway, um, and so she gets, like, the help of Sonic and the others to sort of, um, re- not revamp, but, like, that's what I'm looking for here. Help sort of rebuild the town and the castle. Nice. And when that's all done- That was a strange lady. Oh, the music in here is very off now. <laughs> Phoebus, you hearing this music? It's very off. And what is with the woman up ahead? I don't know. This is going to be a trap. I know, but we kind of have nothing else to do. I can't hear anything. I. Oh, for fuck's I sake. I can't help you. You're not sharing screen. I can't hear shit. Oh, am I not? Oh, I'm so sorry. No. That's what I kind of tried to tell you earlier. I didn't <laughs> just understand. I'm sorry. It's okay. This is, is so a trap. Coming? Yeah, this is a trap. Rip. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Debbie and her friends? Is there music music currently happening in game? There is. Can you not hear it? No. Hi, Amelia. <sighs> yeah, the, the weird echo wasn't going on. I wasn't sure. I can't. I wasn't quite sure how to fix it. I'll try and fuck around with it later. Okay. The door is locked. Or like tomorrow or something before my next stream. Okay, I think I am an organ donor. I'm calling out say. to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Maddie, Maddie, we need your help. I'm Phoebus and I'm another friend. And with another friend, Debbie. We're trying to connect to you. And with that, I... Oh, it went blank. Also, I know you're in the void and I'm very sorry. Winters, a small country to the north. I'm getting ready to pull up the next little, little animation thing for our next party member. Nice. 
Snowwood Boarding House. I have a question. What's yes. DNR? Or Advanced Directive? What is what? D-N-R. What's that? Um. It's letters. I don't know. I don't either. Maslow, help me! <laughs> I'm Phoebus, <laughs> and I'm with another friend, Debbie. We're trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Maddie. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Maddie, you're a friend who we've never met. But you are our one and only hope. Maddie! And there's the boy! There's our Maddie! The boy! Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> In our, let me just. Ah, uh, Maddie, I just dreamt you and I were taking a walk. What's wrong? Maddie is always gay, so the fact, so the whole thing with the the room, the roommate is really funny. I'm doing good. How are you? And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> Maddie, where are you going in the middle of the night? You would not believe me. You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll be punished big time. What's wrong, Maddie? Alright, there must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'll help you get out of it's here. Dang it's dangerous to go along, take this. Tony joins you. Tony, take- <laughs> It's dangerous to go alone, take this. Tony just- a whole just takes Maddie's hand. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. I hope that went well. No problem here. Where is the locker room? Oh, but this is the locker room. That's good. <coughs> this one is locked. 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 This. <sighs> Dang it. I think there's another locker room, though. Oh, Maddie and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Maddie's father, Dr. Audenots, were here, he'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader leader of our ultra science club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're headed to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. How do you get the key to the locker? If you leave, call me. I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. Ha 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 ha. Who are you talking to? Yeah, this is going to be... Okay, well, does Maddie even have? A big bottle rocket, a boiled egg, a ruler, a protractor, a broken spray can, and key to the locker. Dang it. This is gonna be a bit. Rip. <laughs> um, oh, right, but about uh, continuing on with uh, Debbie's whole thing and um, original. Uh, Maddie is. Fuck me. <laughs> that didn't work on anything. I think I have to fix it somehow. I just don't remember how to do that. Um, Maddie is a. In his canon, he is a. Oh, wow, holy shit. What is with all the presents in here? I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I handcrafted each cookie to pass out to the clock to party tomorrow. 
if it's Tony's fucking birthday tomorrow and we leave right before it? That's actually kind of upsetting. Um, anyway. Uh, so, Maddie in his canon is, um, a young, a young, a young trans man, um, who kind of ends up in a really bad relationship during high school. Machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Thank you. Um... And after, uh, if you are Dr. Autonaut's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Um, and after a few years with this guy, um, whose name is Dez, he's another character of mine, uh, Maddie just kind of finally up and leaves. Good for him. Um, and so, he... Oh, nothing in the locker. And so he ends up traveling kind of all over the place to to like make sure that he doesn't get caught again by this abusive ex-boyfriend of his. Um I will also say that um Maddie is essential I essentially stole uh APH Canada. And turned him into Maddie. <laughs> Which is essentially where Maddie's Maddie's um first name as well as most of his appearance came from comes from. He's essentially a stolen version of Hitalia's personification of Canada. Because I latched onto this character a little too hard and then refused to let him go. And you never let him go. You. Yeah, I had to do like a whole. Oh. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we're best friends forever. We never see this character again, do we? We can come and visit him, actually. Yay. Why have I have this? As this once we um once we learn um I think it's like PK teleport, we can actually come back here. PK Thunder! Maddie has no money. Size of bubbles I can blow. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of gum, you can have the money for monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck. <laughs> um, you absolutely, positively should buy him. You know what I mean? How much is um? Yeah, I'm gonna need to come back up here for. Oh, I don't have any gum. I'm just gonna check our walkthrough super quick. Super Okay, so I will take the monkey. I'm just going to sell some stuff. Like this ruler. 
for a dollar. Yes. Oops. And the protractor as well. But I, I'm gonna keep the the broken spray can. At least there's a free phone. Maxwell Labs here. Oh, hi, Maddie. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? Yes. Uh, continue. Okay, I will buy the monkey. I don't know if my cat is having hearing. Maddie got the pack of gum. Um, Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of gum, of bubble gum from Maddie, and blew a bubble. Huh. The bubble monkey joins you. Woo! Why do we need the monkey? Uh, he the is going to be. He is gonna be useful to us because we're gonna have to. We're gonna need him. Got a way dog. The, the, and that's exactly why we needed the dog. We needed the monkey, by the way. Maddie really only does one thing of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie has no weapons! Oh wait, hold on, that, that's a fucking- that- I totally didn't- I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie is gonna be carrying the team! She's like, ten levels higher than Phoebus is right now! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I like that the runaway dogs up in the north are green. There we go. Ooh, I said good. I can rest. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is here. So I want you to rest here a short while. Have something to drink. Perhaps some tea? Yes. Let Maddie have a quick rest. He is he is a fragile boy. Hold on, something something happened to my capture card. <sighs> okay, give me a sec. Sorry, my capture card decided to go on me. Essentially, the way.
way I imagine everybody, like, the other sort of react to it is, well, Phoebus has, at this point, Phoebus has been traveling with Debbie long enough that he's not really phased by it. I think the first time Maddie sees Debbie do that, where she just, like, fucking bashes somebody's head in with a bat, <laughs> Maddie's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and Phoebus is just like, oh yeah, she's like that. What? Debbie at Maddie, you have a ray gun! Yeah, it shoots out lasers! You just hit someone over- you just smacked someone over the head! You just cracked somebody in the skull with a wooden bat! Yeah! And? Oh god. <laughs> Debbie at Maddie, you have a gun. It's a ray gun. You just carry around a fucking bat. I shock enemies. You just crack their skulls open. Yes, I do. Meanwhile, Phoebus is also on very thin fucking ice because he usually attacks- because his, like, main weapon of choice is a fucking frying pan. Which is metal, like a really good fucking steel. <laughs> I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Ah, chew. You look catch a cold. Yes, I would like to record. I would like to continue. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, I was right. <laughs> one of these tents, I think, lets me. I think one of these other tents lets me sleep in them. Yay! Stew. Oh, and a proper rest! You are a friend who I have never met before. Maddie, head south. I am Phoebus. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night, Maddie fixed the broken spray can. After it being fixed, the spray became the defense spray. Hmm. So yeah, that's a thing that, um, that this character does. When you rest, um, I don't know how I did that. Um, when you rest, um, if his- oh god, what is it? I think it was like- If his IQ is high enough, he'll be able to fix stuff. Oh, the wind's blowing. That's good. That means that, theoretically, Tessie's nearby. What the- Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera! Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It'll always bring back the fondest of memories! Who the fuck was that? You'll never know. Give me some gum now! I'll take care of everything. I... okay? What? Oh! 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 What? what? Um... What is that? <laughs> Maddie softly, what the fuck? I guess I'm riding on Tessie. I guess. Tessie looks very derpy. 
<laughs> it's the dots for the eyes. Yeah, and there's the big long smile. Me. Yeah. And having a monkey on their head. Tessie and away she goes. Okay. <laughs> Tessie's so good. <laughs> For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to my modest dungeon. Brick Road. It's a maze! <laughs> it's amazing! <laughs> Rowdy right Mouse. Oh. oh! That was a smash. Oh, right, the, 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 the defense spray can only be used in battle. Oh, that was a mimic. Worthless protoplasm. Oh, don't call it worthless. <laughs> Ooh, go bubble monkey. can fix this. Even if I miss some presents, I can always come back. Watch for falling materials. Brick road. What? Alright, bye Amelia! Bye bye! I might be done streaming by the time you get back, but yeah. Bye! <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say fuzzy pickles. <laughs> I mean, you're right. That's exactly how Debbie would phrase that. <laughs> then Maddie would get concerned and Phoebus would be like, this is just how she is. Mad duck. And Debbie's just like, or er, Maddie's just like, she shouldn't be like this. That's not how you respond to something like that. <laughs> Maddie isn't able to concentrate. He can't use any pee, pee Not like Maddie had any psychic points anyway. <laughs> Nor did he ever have a pee pee. Is he trans? I love the music in here. Croissant! Protoplasm. I greatly 
really appreciate it. Okay, I do not have any images of my knowledge medication. Way to go. Please come back again. Brick Road. Prescribed medicines. I do have one of those. Maybe it was too easy? My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Autonaut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. The first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? God, yes, please. <laughs> this is already such a weird day. Take care. Come back again. What's supposed to do about that statue? Dungeon Man! <laughs> Dungeon Man is best man. Level six, yay! Na 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 Dungeon Man! Dungeon Man! Does whatever a dungeon can. <laughs> dungeon man. Dungeon man. Does whatever a dungeon can. I don't know how I snuck up on it, but okay. <laughs> But oh yeah, uh, going back to Debbie and how how Debbie and Phoebus like originally met in their like very first like verse. Um essentially after um after they got the the castle and everything fixed up, they essentially opened up the kingdom and there was like a big celebration festival thing for it and Phoebus was out in the crowd at one point and him and Debbie danced and then he just kind of vanished after the dance I have a picture that I drew of it forever ago it's like I'll probably have to redo it I want to redo it actually um and then, like, a couple of days, like, went by, and Phoebus is introduced to Debbie as, um, her personal Sheikah bodyguard, and it's like, and Debbie's like, oh shit, you're the guy from the festival that I danced with. You're Sheikah? <laughs> and that's how they met. Nice. Daddy got a cookie, and he's level 8 now. Yay! He's almost half the level Debbie is right now, who's at level 20. Yeah, we, we are gonna have to come back to winters at some point because um there's a, a sanctuary location here I think we're actually gonna pass by it 
And Maddie will see that thing and be like, wow, no, fuck that. <laughs> I remember quite a few. Oh, they already have too much shit. Oh, I can I eat think. something. That I have possibly done it. I have done all that I can. I also remember a lot about er, about Mother 3, so that's because I've played that game several times over. <laughs> that didn't have an official release. Yeah, the Mother 3 ha doesn't have an, have an official release. So, um, the only way to really play it is uh, via emulator. I can't believe I'm damaging it. How could you? Uh, con the, considering that, the like... <laughs> yeah. Or, <laughs> Mother 2, which, which uh, we... Noah's Earthbound um was the only one of the trio of the of the trilogy of uh, mother games that got an official release until the Wii U virtual console where one day Nintendo was just like oh hey um here is uh the first mother game we're gonna title it Earthbound Beginnings. That's certainly one way to go about it. Well, it's not like they could have called it Earthbound 1, because Earthbound was technically the first Earthbound. True. So they're just like, here's the beginnings, because technically, um, Mother 1 does sort of give a more... It is sort of an origin story to Gygus, actually. Like, weirdly enough. That's probably gonna be the next set of bonus streams that I do after I beat Earthbound, because I've never actually beaten... Um... I've never actually beaten... Oh god. I've never actually beaten uh, Beginnings. Shit. It sounded like you said that you've never beaten God. That sounds like quite a to me. Which is a lie! I've beaten God several times over! <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't go up enough to despawn these f fucking things. No. Oh. All I know about Earthbound is that some of the player characters in it are ones that uh, you can play in uh, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yes. That's my extent of knowledge. Yeah, Ness and Lucas. Yeah, that hey. was- oh god. Just like that's the extent of my knowledge of Fire Emblem. The same though, honestly. <laughs> I really know nothing about am... Fire Emblem, I kind of refuse to play it. I know nothing about Fire Emblem, but I love my blue-haired sword boys. How do I- what do I do? Oh, wait, the gum. Marth kind of gender. <laughs> Marth is kind of gender. He is, though. He's a pretty boy and blue and has a sword. 
<laughs> the Fire Emblem player, that is all you really need to know. <laughs> that, that Martha's gender, that's all I need to know about Earthbound. Good to know. <laughs> Earthbound? Fire Emblem. Fire. Mar- Mar- Yeah, blah. God. Martha's gender. That's all you need to know about Fire Emblem. You were cutting out for me, but it's fine. <laughs> Firebound. That's a hell of a name. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. Okay, bye! <laughs> bye, monkey! Okay! You okay. horny bastard! Oh god! You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs so often pattern. visit here. You must have seen it on TV or, or read about it on in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. Forgot that Stonehenge was an Earthbound. Which country is uh, Stonehenge in exactly in our real world? Um, that's a good question. Sad. Mr. Brookstone, the dungeon ma maker, referred you, right? And oh, that what? Who, my son? Oh, I I can't believe it! You're Maddie, my son. It's it's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. Yeah, thanks, Dad. You're a bad father. I'm so glad you're a healthy boy. Well, at least you know I'm a boy. That's good. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Sure. I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yeah. Well, at least I asked. Okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That boy named Phoebus must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase disorder that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another inventor I invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from, from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in ten years or so. Ah, at least you knew I was a boy. That's really all I was hoping for. <laughs> Yay. Broken pipe. Ah. Another cookie in here. No, but there is a bread. How do I get in? You don't. I have to, though. No. <laughs> has the stones. I guess this means that we're in England land. English land. <laughs> it does make sense. Mostly in just the fact of why the characters all look white. It's supposed to. They should be able to get in. Why isn't it letting me in? Because fuck you, that's why. Oh, no wait, this is the thing I need. Nope! <laughs> oh. But this is a good thing! This one's a good thing! This is a good thing. This, this heals me immediately. There we go! Okay, I needed to heal myself, I guess. <laughs> Shush. I love you. I love you, too. But you're... What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? The what now? I think it was talking to you. Yeah. There's 
Pirates 4 side. That's the desert we're gonna have to go through at some point, which is gonna suck. So I need to do something when those happen. Oh no, I was talking about my body. Oh, okay. Scare me! The Skyrunner! I guess it took a little bit of damage to landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Maddie. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me as a friend, okay? Hell yeah! Welcome to the team! Alright! Let's get back to the journey then! That's another like sixty dollars for the hotel. Door is locked. Oh, I have a thing for that. Um, Phoebus was the first teammate. Unless you mean, like, the actual character name, then- oh god. <laughs> Time to crack some heads! Wait, what? <laughs> I am now realizing that, like... Um... Actually, I'm going to try and run. Actually, better idea. <laughs> oh, you say you're reckless, Phoebus. Oh, you're reckless. You're Watch about this. to. <laughs> what? What? Just, just keep an eye on Debbie for a little bit. You'll, you'll understand what reckless means with her. Wait, what? Debbie brandishing a wooden bat. Uh, oh. Another one. <laughs> Let's go, motherfuckers! Time to kill other kids. <laughs> Debbie brandish it. The Debbie with a bat. Phoebus with a fucking those <laughs> frying pan. <laughs> Yeah, we're in the English land. 
Ooh, freeze beta. Hell yeah. I just... I, fuckers, I need the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the hotel people are thinking as kids just order a room to sleep in. That's fine. They they pay. Yeah. But there's two hundred kids walking in. Maddie! That was good. I would like a room, please. Maddie's down. Life up beta. Which is great. If it could, you know, heal the dead. Which you can't. We need to get Maddie to a hospital. Wherever the fucking hospital is. I think it's actually just down this road. No, it's not. Where's the hospital? I always get so fucking lost in these towns. Oh, it's down this way, I think. It's around here so far. But there it is. Oh, that was madly terrifying. Sorry about that, Maddie. before my eyes. It was so short. I was like <laughs> ten. <laughs> $250. Woohoo. Grab up some more money. One hundred eighty dollars. Let's go. All right, and with that, I am going to end stream because I do. I do leave for work in about an hour, and I do want to chill. So, thank you to everybody who came and watched. Thank you to my lovely guest, Mango, as per usual. Um, I have also updated my fan art corner just a little bit, mainly to um, include um, credits. Nice. Um... Oh, I didn't put this on randomized. Whatever. Um, I also added one other, like, one extra piece of art that'll stay on to show it off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there will be a stream on Friday, and it looks like, thanks to my second poll, uh, looks like we'll be playing some more Legends Arceus. There it is! You gotta commit to the bit. Yes, I do have to commit to the bit. So, um, yeah, uh, Friday I'll be, um, streaming, um, Legends Arceus. Um, 
maybe Sunday, maybe, because it depends, because I think we've got, I've got another stream I've got to attend on with Mango. Uh, I might do another round of Earthbound before or after. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all on Friday. Bye! I'm, I'm more important. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Bye! I <laughs> love you, too. Bye, stream. Bye, stream. All right. <laughs> I'm more important. <laughs> you are, babe. I know. The yeah, I added. Uh, I added that piece Winter did for us to the fan art to the fan art reel. I am watching. watching. Yes, yeah. good, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Now that I did my did a bonus stream, I'm basically free tomorrow, so we can. Right. Yay. Not stop I didn't stop recording. I, st I didn't stop oh. streaming. I started recording. Whoops. Bye, stream. <laughs> Bye.